Hey guys, welcome. Today we'll learn everything fair value gap from spotting it to actually trading it. So what's fair value gap? This is an area of imbalance in price within three candles, where the high and low of candles to the right and left do not meet. So here is a bullish fair value gap, these three candles, one, two, and three. And we can see the high and the low of the candles to the right and to the left did not meet. So we want to see our price reach into this fair value gap and trade away from it. So let's see what price does. And there you have it. So here also is a bearish fair value gap. We can see one, two and three candles. And we can see how the high and the low of these candles did not meet. So we want to see price trade into this fair value gap and trade away from it. So let's see what price does. And there you have it. Now, let's look at consequence encroachment. So this is the midpoint of 50% level of the fair value gap. So back here to this example, what we want to see is price trade above this particular high or to the 50% level of the fair value gap, which is our consequence encroachment. But what we don't want to see is price closing above this particular consequence encroachment because that will invalidate this particular fair value gap. So let's see what price does. So right here, we can sell price straight to this particular consequence encroachment and closing below it. So validating this particular fair value gap. And we can see that going forward, price delivered all the way to the sell side. Still on the example of the consequence encroachment. So let's see what price does. So right here, we can see how price trade even way past the fair value gap. But you can see the bodies closed below the consequence encroachment level. And you can see going forward, price delivered to the sell side. So this is how you can apply the consequence encroachment of the fair value gap. Now, in this example, let's look at how not to trade the fair value gap. So we can see when this candle reached into the fair value gap, it closed beyond the consequence encroachment level, which is the 50% level of this particular fair value gap. So that invalidates this particular fair value gap setup. So let's see what price does going forward. And we can see that price defiled the fair value gap and delivered all the way to the sell side. So what is CB or BC? CB simply stands for sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. And BC simply stands for buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. So right here we have a BC, which is a buy side imbalance and sell side inefficiency. So we see this bullish candle right here deliver price all the way to the buy side, creating a buy side imbalance and also on the other side, creating a sell side inefficiency. So going forward in price, we want to see price come into this particular sell side inefficiency, which is a fair value gap and either trade away from it or fill it completely. So let's see what price does. So we can see right here how price delivered to the sell side, completing this particular sell side inefficiency. Now looking down here, we also have a BC, which is a bullish fair value gap. So we can see our price delivered all the way to the buy side, creating a sell side inefficiency. So we want to see price reach into this particular area, either fill it completely or trade away from it. So let's see what price does. So we can see our price reach for this particular BC and trade away from it. So here we have a CB, which is a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. So we want to see price either trade into it and trade away from it or trade into it, filling this inefficiency completely. So let's see what price does. And there you have it. So we can see our price trade back into this buy side inefficiency of this particular CB and filling it completely. But instead of trading away from it, it defiled it and moved the opposite direction. So here's another example on CB. So we can see our price deliver to the sell side, giving us a sell side imbalance and a buy side inefficiency. So we want to see how price trade into this particular buy side inefficiency, either filling it completely and trading away from it or filling completely and defiling it completely. So let's see what price does. So we can see right here how price reached for this particular buy side inefficiency and trade away from it. So this right here is the CB. So the final thing we're going to be looking at today is the inversion fair value gap. So normally we would expect price to come trade into this particular fair value gap respecting the consequence encroachment and trading away from it. But let's see what price does. 
So we can see how price closed beyond this particular fair value gap, defiling this particular fair value gap completely. So here becomes an inversion fair value gap. So going forward in price, we're going to expect price to trade back into this particular inversion fair value gap and trade away from it. So let's see what price does. So there we can see how price has reached into this particular inversion fair value gap. So let's see what price does from here. And there you have it. You can see how price traded away from that inversion fair value gap. So here we have a fair value gap and normally we expect price to trade into it and trade away from it. But let's see what price does. So we can see how price defiled this particular fair value gap completely. Now here becomes an inversion fair value gap. So going forward in price, we want to see how price trade back into this particular inversion fair value gap and trade away from it. So let's see what price does. So now we can see how price has reached for this particular inversion fair value gap. So let's see what price does from here. And we can see how price trade away from it. So these are you can use inversion fair value gap to actually find setup and frame setups in the market. So if you find value in today's video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to learn how to frame setups with fair value gap and liquidity, I recommend you watch this video showing on your screen. Until next time, see you in more videos.